Hello, welcome. We've got a classic Ferris wheel problem here. Here it is from the Algebra 2 regions. So pause the video and try it out and then press play when you're ready to solve it with me. Okay, so we've got a function here modeling what's happening on our Ferris wheel and they wanna know how many seconds does it take to go from the bottom of the wheel to the top of the wheel? All right, well, um, there's a lot of ways to solve this, like any, like any of these functions, but I'm just gonna say in general, we've got a sine wave, right? And there's a little bit of a phase shift here. But I think the general principle for me is that uh, whatever's happening, I can kind of split my sine wave into quarters. So here's just a parent function. Uh, I'm gonna graph y equals the sine of x. So um, we have two pi to complete a cycle. Here's pi, half of that. Half of that is pi over two, excuse me. And then here is three pi over two. So the sine wave as a parent function kind of comes up to one, it's negative one, comes down to zero at 180 or pi rads, back down to negative one at three pi over two, and then back up to zero here. This is what the wave looks like. Now they're asking you how many seconds does it take to go from the bottom to the top? Now, there's a lot of differences here in our function, right? It's shifted around, you got a phase shift. It's, it's translated up. There's an amplitude of 150. Um, two pi over the period is pi over 45. The period's 90 um, seconds, right? Uh, we'll get to that. But the idea is that in general, we're looking at this wave to get from top to the bottom. There it is. Is that much of the sine wave? Now, how much is that, right? That little chunk right there. Well, um, from here to here, let's say, is a quarter of the full wave. Here's another quarter, a third quarter, and a fourth quarter. It's broken into four quarters. So this quarter plus this quarter, a quarter plus a quarter is half. It's half of the sine wave. It's half of the period. So whatever the answer is, it has to be one half of the period. So what's the period? Well, I kind of just said it, but let's just show. Pi over 45, what that, that coefficient of t is found from taking two pi and dividing it by the period. So this is what we're solving. We're solving for p. And then you might be able to see what's happening by just doubling the left-hand side. It's just two over 90. So the period is 90. Now, that's not the answer because we just said it's half the period. So it's 45. All right, it's half the wave. All right, hope that helped.